Hello, this is Photography Gamer. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm reviewing Payday 2 Crime Wave Edition. Payday 2 is an online co op first person shooter developed by Overkill Software. The Crime Wave Edition comes with the bonus heists such as Diamond, Big Bank, and Hotline Miami. You also get some new playable characters like Dragon and Old Hogston. In the game, you take on heists solo with AI teammates or online with three other human players. The heists are varied and they include bank robberies, rigging an election, stealing nuclear warheads and drug trafficking. Most of the heists end up with massive shootouts but you can employ stealth and use silencers or disable CCTV cameras. The missions are accessed via CrimeNet, a fictional website for the heist community. Every heist you complete earns you money and experience. 20% of your money is available to spend while the other 80% is placed in an offshore account which is basically your retirement fund. But there are times when you can use your offshore cash to purchase special items. Okay, what is the game like to play? Well, Payday 2 is a bit of a slow starter because at the beginning, you've got very basic gear and weapons, but the more you play, the better it gets. You basically have to find the loot and drop it off at a des designated area. The more loot you get, the more your payday. But if you get down too many times during a level and die, you get nothing. So it's a balance of making sure you don't get too greedy. The game is really all about teamwork and this is only really possible when playing with other players because the AIs are okay, I mean they'll shoot at the police but don't expect them to help with carrying bags or doing any kind of mission related activities. So if you want to get the fullest experience out of this game you need to be online and working with other human players. The game has an extensive array of guns, armour and masks to purchase. All of these items can be further customised with different colour schemes, attachments and you can even design your own cool masks. You've got a perk tree to help you specialise whether you want to be a mastermind, an enforcer or many other different specialist areas. The enemy AI is pretty decent at times although it can be quite erratic. Sometimes the cops seem very good like they flank you, they head for cover, you know they use tactics but other times they fall off ledges, they run through walls, you know they just walk right past you so it's really temperamental in terms of what you're going to get for the AI. Visually the game isn't the best, it's pretty mediocre and it you know it does show its age when compared to other similar releases. The character models are functional but the ragdoll effects can be a bit weird and it does feel like an arcade game in terms of the visuals rather than a simulation. The music is high octane, intense and really adds to the overall experience. You know, like that, the sound effects, the weapon sounds, everything just gets ramped up by the audio. The audio in this game is really good. Okay, what's good and what's bad? What's good? It's one of the best online multiplayer games on the PS4. The customization options for the weapons and masks are really cool. There are lots of heists to get your teeth into, the controls are smooth and the guns feel impactful and you can use the offline mode to practice your skills. What's bad? The offline mode doesn't offer any split screen option, some of the missions go on for way too long, it isn't very realistic and graphically it does look a little bit dated. Okay, what's the verdict? Payday 2 Crime Wave Edition is a bit of a slow burner, initially it can be a bit hit and miss but once you start to level up your character, gear and weapons, the game really comes into its own. It's one of the best squad based shooters you can play online and taking on the harder heists really does require teamwork and a well drilled unit. You can also play solo offline but it really isn't the most enjoyable way to play the game. But once you start teaming up with real people and doing heists you will have a ridiculous amount of fun. It's got a wide variety of missions, a good progression system and it will just get you hooked once you've been playing it for a few hours. And it's definitely one of the best online games you can buy. So my score for Payday 2 is 8.5 out of 10. Okay, that was the review. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. This is Photography Gamer signing off. Thank you.